Welcome back, everyone, to the Cheer Analyst World's 2024 Live Commentary. I am joined by a dear friend, colleague, most importantly, fellow cheer nerd, right? That's like, of all of, all of the categories, close friend, someone I've worked with, with cheer analyst, Kat Haley Cheerleading, most importantly, as big of a cheer nerd as me, Kat Haley. Woo! <laughs> Welcome, I, Kat Haley. I'm so excited. I have been waiting for this since yesterday. Um, Lady Jags. Let's just start, like, we're, we're going to talk about it. <laughs> Top Gun Lady Jags was a masterclass in, in cheerleading. I mean, they walked out on the floor and they didn't even, do, they didn't, they weren't even set up. And I'm like, they won. I said the same thing. They won. They, they just, they made the choice before they got out on the floor that they were just going to crush everybody. Top, when, when Top Gun wins, they'll be the most decorated medium senior team. And 11 years ago, no one thought of them as a threat. When they won, people thought it was by accident and I, they have made sure since then that you never think it's today when they win, it will not be by accident that did, they did not no. accidentally win today. I am, I am in multiple group chats and, um, with other fellow cheer nerds, um, other has beens if you will. And <laughs> lady Jags finished and all of those group chats are like done, z z z z done, <laughs> done. Like no, like no doubts absolutely no doubts um i yeah i'm speechless <laughs> and not to mention they've actually gone through a couple of coaches coaching changes over the past 11 years they had um jordan, jordan who was a yep who was a fellow tglc double o girl um That's right. they have gabby fuller now who is obviously a great addition to that staff um Greg Gazelle is is just he is the brains behind that. Sean Guzman was was um, dabbling in Lady Jags for a bit until he chose to step away to focus on their tumbling program. Um, and I think that a lot of people forget and don't realize how how um, when you've been a part of a program for so long, when there is a staff change, even though their staff is phenomenal across the board. Um, that presents its own challenges, right? You become used to certain people that are guiding you. And even though there may be someone else really good, um, that's what's amazing to me is they've undergone some, some staff changes and they've still maintained excellence. That, that right? <laughs> I'm like, I don't, I, are I we, don't and are we, are we, say. we agree it's peach for silver. Agreed. That was a beautiful. They were. A, that was a beautiful, beautiful routine. They they looked happy after. And then, help me out here. Do you have F five as bronze or CJ bombshells as bronze? I know you had talked about this before. I have F five as bronze. I have them in the bronze today. I I do as well. I think that. Um, you know, CJA was, was crushing it. And, and they also demand that type of presence that Lady Jags does, that they have confidence. You can tell that they are extremely well-trained. And to be honest, when I watch a CJA routine, I don't expect a mistake to happen. Um, Ooh, we know I that agree with that one. Yeah. We, we know that Patty Ann is fierce. We know she demands excellence in her program. That's right. And uh, I was very shocked to see that that pyramid mishap happen um very unlike them obviously things happen we are athletes it i was happens. bummed i wasn't even shocked very I was bummed. really sad i was really sad very and i have to say that again well, that another gym you and i aren't affiliated with and i was so bummed absolutely well and here's the, here's the cool thing about cja is they, um, I would argue, you know, especially for, for people like you and I who have, who have been watching cheerleading for so long, I forget about them. And I mean that with the utmost respect. I tend to think about, you know, your cheer athletics, your stingrays, your top gun, the people that have been around for a million years. But the reality is, is CJA has had 
incredible success in the state of New Jersey. And it seems that no matter what division they enter, they crush it. They totally crush it. Um, I, I agree with you. I, I hate seeing people fall in finals. I don't care if you're my favorite Thank team you. or maybe it, yep. or maybe yep. it, it is world finals and I want everybody to hit. I don't care who you are. I want everybody to hit. That's so, right. um, I, uh, I think it could be a toss up because their raw score was so high, but F five hitting has absolutely, I'm like looking at my notes over here on the side, F five hitting has definitely moved them up the ranks. Yeah. And they didn't hit yesterday. Right. Well, and they, they came hit, hard today. That's right. I was like, they they looked. I I just don't see how when it all plays out, how bombshells could be F five, unless there's two ways this can go though, America. The O oh, as we saw in media. Yeah, I think it's going to be CGA. In fourth. Yep. I it, it's uh world is always such a shocker. And we talked about this some yesterday that everybody is good. So again, I started out, I was the second year of medium senior. Uh the the big teams in that division at that time were us and California Aces. Um, everybody else is pretty even par, but nowadays this division, I would argue, is pretty similar to medium co-ed that it could be anybody. That's right. Every Everybody is pretty even keel. Again, like, shout out to Lady Jags for crushing it. Um, it could be anybody. It, but it, you've got to hit. You've got to hit to give yourself that, that best shot. And, and, and last year, I appreciated... The teams that won were the teams that hit. <laughs> for sure. For sure. And for reference, this is how much the uh, this division has grown. I'm going to th- go ahead and throw my own team under the bus. When we competed at World's Finals in Medium Senior on Orange, we had four points in deductions. And we still won by three points. You can't do that anymore. <laughs> You can't Lady do Jags. that anymore. And if that's Lady how stacked Jags, we were. Are, are they about to? Because their raw score yesterday in medium senior, their final score, I mean, their raw score is three point, there was three points higher than bombshells. And I, they may have, and they had three points in deductions yesterday. So, Work! <laughs> so... Then their raw score is six points ahead of Peach, and they both just hit. I'm not right. saying that's how it'll be, but ba- we're just Kat and I are going based sure. solely off of yesterday's numbers, right? They were sure. six points ahead of Peach yesterday, and they were three points ahead in raw of bombshells. When all was said and done, they were still a full, almost a full point ahead of bombshells when they with coming into today. They're it's like 0.95 higher. So we're an annihil- They're just they're annihilating everybody. And the <laughs> next team, then after bombshells, is Peach with an eighty-eight point seven one, with two points wow. in deductions. So Peach will be in the nineties. I'm a, I'm gonna say Peach will probably be yep. in the nineties today. Yeah, because yep. they don't have any deductions. And I bet their raw will go up. Uh, Lady Jags, their score will probably go up. Undoubtedly, they didn't have any deductions, so their score inevitably will go up. But their execution may have been as good or even better today than as it was yesterday. And I I'm, was kind of talking to myself yesterday about what we saw from Medium Senior yesterday. And it is... Watching Lady Jags yesterday was outstanding. And I said to myself, can that get any better? And I would argue it did. I would argue it did. I would agree with you. It did. 
it's it's almost like you watch these teams on day one. This this happens sometimes that you watch these teams on day one that knock it out of the park, and it was almost like they got their good routine out for the weekend, and then day two, a little something happens, and you're like, dang, if only that was day one. And today, Lady Jags were like, no, this this is just what we're gonna do. This is ours, and that is what they did. Period. <laughs> We're, we are we are two hours out from medium senior awards. So this is good. In 30 minutes, surprise, surprise, I am going to live commentate and do an instant replay for Top Gun 00 and Cheer Athletics Wildcats, who will be going on in 25 minutes. Kat Haley, you're the best. I love this. I could talk with you for for hours. I I'm it's, so grateful for the opportunity. Tough. I'm so proud of the people that I know that I'm watching from my screen that create mm-hmm. this excellence. Um, shout out to Spirit of Texas A team. I know we had that mistake at the very end of the routine, but. It was it was stunning, stunning. Up until then, it it was just classic spirit yeah. of Texas I said cheerleading. The same exact thing. I said the same thing. It, it just it was so spirit of Texas. So shout out Krista Godby. I love you so Brayden much. You're amazing as well. Uh, so good. Um, who else? Like I said, I'm looking at my notes here. ATA um, again, I know- also did great. Uh, well, and again. ATA has always been a strong gym, but over the past few years, they have decided uh, we're going to take it up a notch. They and have. they they're they're crushing it levels one through six. They are absolutely crushing it. Um, and I know that we t- yes. And <sighs> I I love an underdog. I do. Don't we all? I love an yeah. underdog. Um, and also, I my, love my big. My biggest shout out today is the injured athlete on Cheer Athletics Fierce Cats who went again. I don't care that she fell. And was, with all due respect to everybody on the floor, because I I am a lover of Fierce Cats, the best performer on the floor. <laughs> she walks like, to center and gives you all the choreo. She is a Fierce Cat. Yeah, absolutely. Period. Um... I... Yeah, and I remember I remember growing up and watching them in the gym, watching Fierce Cats. And you're it, right, she is she is a Fierce Cat. You will you will agree with this that Fierce Cats was never the most stacked team in the gym, but they were gonna outperform everybody every Panthers, time. Panthers, Wildcats, they would put Panthers and Wildcats to shame as far as performance. Fierce Cats back in our day, Fierce Cats. They put TGLC to shame. They were, I would say they were compared to the shooting stars as far as like that, where it's like you're watching more of a, like a, not like a play and not, I don't want to say it's a play where it's so performance-based. It's so engaging because it's so performance-based. And at this point, those cats and shooting stars have the difficulty. They did then, obviously shooting stars has won world so many times, but all that is that- like some of these teams that their reputation is performing, it's so engaging. It's like they suck you in. Fierce Cats, I still regret not having that pink shirt from what, like 2008, How 2009? Fierce How fierce are you? That was, you know, I used to try to collect every true athletic shirt on caproshop.com. Um, so for me, like, <laughs> do you have, shout the, do out. you have the, do you have the world famous world champions wildcats 2007 shirt that used to be on there I, like forever? That one. Well, I since gotten rid of my shirts because I'm an adult and need space. No, I know. I know. It's your analyst museum. But one of the most iconic shirts was the yellow world 09 shirt when they just flooded the place with yellow. I love when they do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like, but like seriously, let's, let's go back 
to Fierce Cat. So I so thoroughly enjoyed that routine yesterday. I know that they had a couple of mistakes yesterday. And again, they don't necessarily have the most numbers, but their the way their music ties into their performance, it feels like the music almost gives me some old school vibes. And I'm oh, wow. I'm just into it from the the triple hair whip in the dance. Nobody is doing it like them. Nobody. It's everything. <laughs> It is. I remember when everything. I I, uh, I went to Blue Debut, and I remember watching that hair whip, and I was like, "This is going to be an iconic moment," and it was, and it has been. Absolutely. Well, and, and here's the cool thing about um, Fierce Cats in a gym like True Athletics. Again, you have these super iconic teams. You have your Wildcats. You have your Panthers, you have your Cheetahs. Um, and despite the fact that Fierce Cats may not be the first team you think of when you think about cheer athletics, that team is iconic in its own way. That oh. you know. Oh, absolutely. You, you know what you're going to get when you watch a Fierce Cat. And it doesn't matter if it's International Open or if it's Medium Senior, you're going to get the same product. And that's. that's it's, it's fierce. There's no other word for it. It's fierce. Period. Well, <laughs> you're fierce. Where can all of our friends that are watching find you on the internet? Um, find me on Facebook, Cat Haley Cheerleading. Here What's we are. Cat Haley Cheerleading? Cat Haley Cheerleading specializes in something called the Cat Haley Method. I specialize in virtual flexibility. I specialize in virtual flexibility and making sure that your athletes are getting the best, safest training inside your home. Everything we do is research-based, meaning it doesn't matter if you come with absolutely no flexibility, we will get you fixed up. And, um, you know, we just try to rock it out, make sure that your kids get the best because they deserve the best. So come find us, Cat Haley Cheerleading at Facebook. Contact us. Ask us about the Cat Haley Method. We have gym programs. The more kids that sign up, the cheaper it costs for you. And we what need kick-up needles. Can you can you uh, can you tell us a little bit what the Cat Haley Method entails? What it looks like? How it works? Totally. I am an athlete, and I just got. I so I am a mom, and I just got my daughter, my son, a the Cat Haley Method. What what do we do now? Perfect. So currently we offer three different series. Series okay. one is achieving series one is achieving your needle. Series two is for front body position. Series three is just a quick pre-stretch competition stretch. Um, series one and series two are 10 week programs. Everything is pre-recorded. It includes flexibility ten ten. as well as yes, 10 and okay. 10. It includes flexibility videos as well as strength training videos it also includes a lot of different checkpoints to make sure that you know you are on the right path and everything is independent so if you are a mom or a dad you do not have to push your child's leg to the floor we want everything to be safe and strength based so again super easy to follow again really really good going into the summer really good time to work on this stuff to get you set up for the rest of the season so for those of you who have maybe done an online college course or even a beach body program, it is set up exactly like that. So very, very easy to follow. Does Cat Haley Cheerleading offer one-on-one -on -one virtual coaching? Yes, we do. So I no longer do that as private lessons, but I have an amazing staff. We have Perfect. jump training. We have jump training that will be coming this summer. I have an amazing staff member that does virtual privates for those kids that want that communication based lessons. So we have seen amazing results. Find us on Instagram, Cat Haley Truling. We have some really, really awesome success stories of kids that want to work hard and be their best. Like you. <sighs> yeah. That's I, right. You know, that's right. <laughs> that's it. That's, that's it. it. That's it. 
Thank you so much for coming to the proverbial cheer analyst studio and breaking down medium senior. This has been it's so a pleasure. Much fun. This has been so much fun. We analyzed all of the cheerleading. And all of you the can cheerleading. expect to see more. You can expect to see more of Cat Haley in 2025 as cheer analyst starts to do live commentary on more major events. You can look forward to that next year. More major events with more live commentary. Cat, you're the best. We will see you love soon. Love you so much. We'll see you in 2025. I love you more. We will be right back. Thank you.